I'm currently at the Boardwalk parking lot and they have the gondola station set up and uh, they have a gondola up. I'm not sure if it's going to be running anytime or not, but it sure looks like it is. But man, it's almost time. Good afternoon, YouTube. I hope all you guys are having an awesome, fantastic day. Welcome back to yet another Disney Resort tour. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We've done this before a few months ago when we were at Pop Century, we did a double feature where we toured Pop Century and Art of Animation. And today we're coming from the Epcot Resorts, which is Disney's Boardwalk and Disney's Yacht and Beach Club. So you guys are gonna get another double feature, both resorts, both beautiful resorts. I'm so ready to get this resort tour started. Hopefully you guys are ready, cause I am. Let's go do this. As soon as you park here at the Boardwalk, which parking is gonna be a little ways away from the actual entrance, you're gonna walk over this bridge, over the water, onto this walkway, which will take you right directly to the boardwalk. And then right over here, we're gonna have your bus transportation. And these are the buses that's gonna take you guys to the theme parks and Disney Springs. And first things first, the Disney Magical Express that's gonna pick you guys up at the airport and take you guys back to the airport. Drop off is right here in the front. And then walk across here. Looks like they can take care of your baggage right here and airline check-in right here, valet parking. And this is gonna take you guys right into the main lobby. If you guys wanna avoid the main lobby and just go directly down to the boardwalk, there's some stairs that will take you directly down so you don't have to go through the main lobby. And now we are in the main lobby here at the boardwalk. It's very, very just like unique and just like a classic feel. I really do enjoy it. It smells really good in here also. I know for Christmas they have the big old gingerbread houses in here. And as you walk in, you're gonna hit a left and this is gonna take you right to your concierge where you're gonna check in, check out. If you have any questions about park tickets, transportation, um, they also have bell services here. This is where you're come. Wow, look at this masterpiece. All right, and we are inside a standard room, a garden view room here at the boardwalk. We got the refrigerator here. So. Pretty nice standard refrigerator. Got a key rig here. It's like a closet with a safe. Very spacious. And look at the bathroom. There's the famous Disney soap. Double sinks. And there's me. And here's the actual bathroom, toilet, and the tub. Nice little shower. Nothing too fancy, but it's it's nice. And then here's the best part. Look at this. Very, very nice. A nice little 55 inch pull out couch. Got a nice little desk here. Of course, got the USB plugs. Oh, look at Minnie here for the light. And look at the garden view. And now we are on the balcony, the garden view balcony. And my goodness, we can see Epcot right here. You can see Paris, the Eiffel Tower here and the gondolas coming through. This would be the perfect spot to come out here and watch illuminations from right here, from your balcony. Very, very, very nice. I also really like the artwork in the room. Very nice. Next up, we're in the lounge here, but it's only open for breakfast, 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. and lounge operating hours, 5 p.m. to midnight. So you come here and get your um, adult alcoholic beverages. And then of course for breakfast, they have like a breakfast pastry, fruit, cereal, and beverages bar here. But even during the day, if you guys are like at Epcot or Hollywood Studios and you guys kind of get tired, maybe walk over here and come in here and like hang out and work and you know relax. Or if your kiddos need a little quick little nap, because nobody's in here, it's very, very quiet. I'm very peaceful. We have to come up here for at least, you know, late night drinks or something. Of course, you have a balcony out here that you guys can also 
go into overlooking the boardwalk, which we're about to go out there now. As you walk through these doors from the main lobby, you're gonna come out here outside, go down these stairs, and this is gonna also take you right to the boardwalk. I'm not sure if every night or every other night, but they'll have a blow up screen and a projector for like a movie at night or movie under the stars. I forget what it's called, but it'll happen right up here. And I think it's every night, but I'm not sure, but check. Check your guide, because that's a really cool feature for your little ones. Just something else to do outside of the parks. And we're going to make a quick left to the main pool here. Just a quick peek inside of the gym. Man, that is a huge gym. It's really, really nice. Wow, they have a bunch of TVs up there. They also have a nice arcade in here. Really, really huge. And they do have a nice running trail. I've ran this trail many times as I'm preparing for the Star Wars half marathon. But man, it's a nice little run. We're here. You go all around the boardwalk into the beach and yacht club, Swan and Dolphin, all the way around. It's a nice run. And here's just an all around view of how big the boardwalk is. It's a really, really just massive resort when you think of it here is the main pool and man i've never been out to the pool i've never actually seen it it's really nice you can see swan and dolphin here a nice massive pool i know it's heated they have a nice water slide over there it looks like an old roller coaster then they have a carousel here which is the bar the poolside bar man the theming is really nice here and they also have a kiddie pool over there as well here we are we are at the boardwalk now the actual boardwalk it's just such a very beautiful day as we can see yacht and beach club across from us which we're going to start making our way over there don't worry i'll be coming back later this month in april to do a full uh review tour of the actual boardwalk itself as far as the restaurants and the shops and the different things you can do this is more the resort side of the boardwalk but if you guys like funnel cakes and fair food well they have them funnel cake you got ice cream on it they have a cookies and cream funnel cake fried ice cream cotton candy oh you can even get a funnel cake gift kit to take home you can also rent your own Surrey bike and ride around the boardwalk for only 25 bucks they got a Surrey bike they're taking it around the boardwalk they do offer boat services to take you guys to Hollywood Studios Epcot, Yacht and Beach Club, and Swan and Dolphin. But I'm trying to prepare for a race, so I think I'm gonna walk it out. Side note, Abercadab Bar is my top three favorite bars on property, along with the Bon Voyage Breakfast, top three breakfast places on property. I wanted to quickly point out, as we were walking to Yacht and Beach Club, this boardwalk is a very photogenic place. I've done a lot of photo shoots here. They actually have a lot of weddings right here. Um, I just want to point that out. If you guys are looking for a good place to like take pictures or, you know, just in general, maybe come down here to the boardwalk. Here is the direct walkway to take you guys into Epcot and the World Showcase. We have officially made it to Yacht and Beach Club right on the other side. So we can tell there's a beach in front of us with plenty of seating. They have swings here. Look at that huge pirate ship. All right, let's go check this place out. Here's an overall view of how big Yacht and Beach Club is. I'm not as big as boardwalk but still fairly really nice this is pretty awesome every friday they have yoga by the beach 7 a.m to 7 30 a.m this huge pirate ship is just not a pirate ship it is a huge water slide from there all the way back down to the pool over here and here's a look at the pool here it is really nice and let me tell you guys why this is my favorite pool because the bottom has sand in it so it's an actual like ocean beach feel and the pool is heated of course lots of seating here really really nice they're playing nice music here they have a lot of pool activities around here and the yacht side in the beach side does share this massive pool here it also has a lazy river which i, I forgot about but i love that lazy river but we can also kind of see the sand in the bottom of the pool here it's a really really nice pool guys and they have the private cabanas over here and something I really like about this pool, and I didn't want to say it back there, is because they have cast members kind of surrounding the pool. I was not a guest, so they kind of asked me, you know, I can't technically go in because I am not have a magic band that I'm staying here. So that's kind of nice to know that they uh, don't let just strangers in this pool. Some of the Disney resorts, they're very less lenient on, but the higher end ones, such as Beach and Yacht Club, they're very secure. So you may want to keep that in mind, especially for your family and if you have little ones. Hurricane Hannah's is open. It's the poolside bar but not only can you get adult drinks at the bar they have a full um 
food menu here. So like hamburgers, salads, sandwiches, snacks, kids meals. We have made it to the beach side. This is not yacht club, this is beach club. Yes, ah, oh, I can't wait. I've stayed here before. Let's go see it again with you guys. My oh my, does it not smell good in here? I wish you guys could smell it with me, but man, this is a fancy hotel lobby. Really, really nice, lots of additional seating here. It's a very unique lobby, again, just like the boardwalk. This is Cape May for a breakfast. They do have characters here. Goofy, Minnie, and Donald are here. It's more of a seafood buffet, but I like it, of course. Just kind of pop our heads in a little bit as they're stopping breakfast right now. Nice. They also do a seafood buffet from 5 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Interesting. 52 bucks. Children 29 and this is where you're gonna check in check out all your registrations here if you have any questions about your park tickets Transportation, this is where you come and then right next to hotel registration. This is gonna be your main entrance This is where you're gonna kind of get dropped off for your magical Express taxi parking and then over here again to your right You're gonna have your bell services over here. We're gonna check out the Beach Club marketplace gift shop I didn't go to the gift shop over in boardwalk. So I figured we would do Beach and Yacht Club. And here's some exclusive Beach Club Resort t-shirts. A lot of mermaid theming going around here. Some hats. Oh, look at this one. Ariel, Sebastian, Flounder. Ooh, I like this polo a lot. Got a long sleeve hoodie. And here's some more mermaid theming. Coffee mugs and water bottles. And it also just has your standard, you know, gift shop items that you can find in the park. They have luggage here pins, magic bands. Something really cool about this gift shop is not only a gift shop, it is also a grab and go marketplace where you can get food and dessert items. Look at this goofy cupcake. Got the mini mouse cupcake, the purple potion black raspberry lemon tart. Nice. Mickey vanilla cupcake. Also has some grab and go sandwiches here, some lunchables, coffee. They have the Coca-Cola freestyle machine, some uh, Disney Snack items over here. And here's gonna be all your bottle drinks, pop and water, orange juice, milk, power A tea, wine and beer. They have eggs, bacon, bologna, all your sandwich stuff. Eggos, they also have some pizza because these rooms do come with microwaves. And of course, all your ice cream. And over here, you're gonna have your bread and chips. And right here, they have a grill. You can get pizza, you get hamburgers, salads, breakfast. Pretty nice, and the line is not long at all. We are in a standard room here at Beach Club. And here's a look at the bathrooms. Got a double sink, the Disney soap. Hello, here's the bathroom, toilet, shower. Some nice little shower, nothing too fancy. It's pretty nice. It smells really good in here as well. Then got the closet area here. Got a nice 55 inch TV. And then two queen or king beds. Queen, two queen beds with a hidden Mickey on there. We got a pull out couch as well. As you guys can request a pull out couch here. Works a little different. Of course, got the USB plugs here. A desk. And then here's a look at the balcony view. It's not really too much to look at on this one, but it is very nice here. Let's make our way into the Yacht Club. Oh man, I've never been in the yacht side lobby. Feels like I'm on a Titanic, but maybe like a sucking pirate ship or... Man, also smells really good in here as well. I love the theme in here. It's like a, a boat theme in. And look at this huge old school globe right in the middle. Hello, how are you? Good. How neat. Oh, there's L and Compass. Oh my goodness. But it's very similar to the beach side, set up the exact same way. Of course, we have bell services here. Then right in the middle, we have your main entrance where you're gonna get dropped off from your Magical Express, parking, taxi, come in. Then over here to your right, as soon as you walk in, this is where you're gonna check in, check out. Again, if you have any questions about your park tickets or hotel room, this is where you come. Oh man, there's L and Compass. This is one of the fanciest restaurants on Disney property. 
I have not ever ate here. I've always wanted to eat here, but it is very, very pricey. Um, but it would be one heck of a dinner or one heck of a dinner date. We can just see this is the lounge area. The restaurant's gonna be over here. Oh, one day. Beach and Yacht Club also has the Yachtsman Steakhouse, which is really good. I've never ate there though, but I've heard great things about it. And they also have Beaches and Cream, which is kind of like an old school diner um, known for the kitchen sinks. I've ate there before. It's absolutely delicious, especially if you like ice cream and like uh, poutine and hamburgers and such. Um, we didn't get a chance to go over there, but I just want to let you guys know they exist here. And I would show you guys a room, but it is very similar to the beach. Um, side rooms it's the same thing um but i did ask but they are completely full on the yacht side so luckily i was able to show you guys the beach side so you can kind of just imagine what they look like and now we're going to make our way back over to the boardwalk where we first started as we're walking back over to the boardwalk there was a few things i forgot to mention in my last video my update home vlog video um one i am running the star wars half marathon next weekend april 7th which super psyched about. It's my first Disney marathon. Probably gonna be my only one because I'm just not a runner, but something I've always wanted to do. Number two, I've got a lot of comments asking about where's Andrew been? Uh, Andrew and me are no longer friends. I'm not really gonna get into much details, but he is no longer part of the channel. Um, so yeah, I wish him the best, but you know, when two people just can't get on the same page. And lastly, I am going to be in Anaheim, California for the D23 event in August. Super sucked about that. I'm going to be able to bring you guys the news, the breaking news right when it happens. And lastly, the clothing line. The clothing line is still going to happen. Uh, one, I just have had no time because of my work schedule and the YouTube schedule. And number two, my old investor, he dropped out at the last minute. So I had to go out and find a new investor. So that's kind of what's been going on with the clothing line. It's still happening. Just need a little bit more time. And now we're at Swan and Dolphin and I've done a full resort tour here. So be sure to go check that resort tour out. As the boat's honking at us going over to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, he waved back. Thank you. Just like that, we're back at the boardwalk. I've mentioned this when I did the Swan and Dolphin resort tour, but this walkway will take you directly right to Hollywood Studios. So you can get to Hollywood Studios, Swan and Dolphin, Beach and Yacht Club, the boardwalk and Epcot all in one pathway. I want to point out quickly, I thought this was funny. They offer dancing. <laughs> you never really see that at Disney besides the boardwalk. And if you guys want to dance here at the boardwalk, they do have the Atlantic Dance Hall, which I've mentioned earlier. It's a great little, it's kind of a club, but it's, it's I don't, it's a club. It's a DJ nighttime club. And then right across the street over here is Jelly Rolls. And Jelly Rolls is a dueling piano bar. Really great time. Um, they play a lot of Disney music per request. They have a nice bar and they give you free popcorn. So this is something I really do recommend, especially, you know, if you guys are a couple or, you know, adults want to get away from the kids, come here. It's a good time. But that is going to do it from today here at Disney's Beach and Yacht Club and Disney's Boardwalk. I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, I have saw a lot of things that I never noticed uh, since living here. So that's why I do enjoy these resort tours because I also learn new things that I didn't already know. And I'm able to just to show you guys around. So hopefully when you guys are booking your vacation, you guys see this video and you know, sparks your eye. Hey, I want to stay at the Boardwalk or hey, I want to stay at Beach and Yacht Club. And now you know a little bit more information to make your vacation go a little bit smoothly. And that's why I do make these videos to help you guys out for your next Disney vacation, whether that be Disney World, Disneyland. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It just shows me you guys are caring and you guys are enjoying the videos and the content. Comment, start a conversation, don't be shy. And if you guys are new here, subscribe. We do this quite a lot and we also do live streams. And if you guys want to donate to the channel as it really does help us out for future adventures, uh, paypal.com using princecharmingdev at yahoo.com. So that helps us out as well. But I love you guys so much. And remember, it is nice to be nice. And YouTube, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, we're about to be in Disneyland again. I'm excited. Just had to throw that in there. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Prince Charming is 